Okay, so the last Porsche I was in, Porsche, uh, where's my brake? This is it? Uh, no, your brake is over there. It's an electronic parking brake. Okay. Yep. So the last Porsche I was in was the 997 Shark Works belonging to Monica and Nugget down at Harris Hill Raceway. So, but that was all motor, rear wheel drive only. This is a turbocharged and three. a whole lot of custom suspension. Oh yeah? Well, wasn't that, didn't that thing have a bunch of Oh yeah, yeah, it's all, like, up, like, like the mag, the adjustable suspension was all gone. Right. And we're gonna take the same route that uh, we just drove on. Okay. Um, you know what, I'm gonna close the sunshade. Where yeah, is the button? Right here. Okay. Be careful going out of this because the uh, okay, it's pretty low. Um, try to maybe aim for that if we're going out to the left. Going out to the left. Where's just, this truck going? Uh, bro, truck has turned off. Oop! Oop! Stop I button. just oh came back to life. Ah, awesome! All right, coming You're out good. this way. Yep. Yep. When I saw this car driving on the uh, ooh, it grabs really nice. When I saw this car uh, driving when we did the camera, when they did the uh, road shots, it looks like with the suspension all the way up, it's right about the same height as a stock Impreza. Really? Too bad, I mean, we'd have to find like an Impreza or something like that to park it next to. Because the, the ground clearance looked pretty good, but then okay. it's got a bit of a nose to it. Okay. Which can't um, scrape on a lot of things. You have to, you put a lot of weight up front like a keg. Yeah. Uh, like a pony keg yeah. in the front. You have to be really careful going up driveways or any place. Like even going through an, the intersection near where I live, like I have to grab it to go really? through a nice little scrape. Mm. But that's if, you know, there's a significant amount of weight in the front. Oh, that blipping is nice. Yeah. You don't have to think about anything. Of course, you can't show off your double clutching. Right. So I wonder how they're throwing the power to the front wheels. It'd be nice to see this on a lift. Oh yeah, that's, that's your G-meter. Here you're in, Sport Chrono, and then that's showing the torque splits. Neat. So it's normally just cruising around like a rear drive car, but then when you start off, that's when it decides to jump on you a little bit. But... So I wonder if a used one of these is comparable in price point to a spec to a fully spec STI. I'm guessing this would probably still be more than an S. What is a U? What is a new STI now? Is that 45? 45. Hey, it saved itself again. Yep. It has an anti-stall on it. It kicks in. Brilliant. So I wonder if it's just uh, pulling the clutch or for you. I'm not sure how it works, but it's computer controlled, so. So you just drove this road. It was pretty bumpy. Yep. What were your opinions of the way this, this car was fun? And you told me to slow down here. Yeah, you were nailing it up this. There's Definitely. a there's a slipperiness to this wheel that I kinda don't like. Oh uh, unless the... Yeah, I mean unless the I should be having road. my hands up here. Try there. I don't know. Yeah. It's... I tend to enjoy uh, 9 and 3, not 10 and 2, but it looks like 10 and 2 is what this steering wheel is made for. Okay. Jeez. We had to... Oh, yeah, scraped there a little. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all right. All right, so bumpy roads, even with, uh, even with the suspension at full height, still scrapes. Yeah. So the short answer is when the road gets nasty, an SDI is still with a way to go. Maybe an Audi all road or something like that. Yeah, like an S4 would have had no problem on that. Of which you also own. Yeah. And you you said you drive you drive that more aggressively than you drive this. Yep. Well, I used to drive that more aggressively <laughs> when I had it. There's the turbo. Turbo is about at four. Yep. Or turbos rather. Yeah, you can actually, if you switch the mode, you can uh, bring up the Sorry. Uh, Go ahead. Ah, shoot, we gotta we'll just wait for that thing to. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, there. That'll. 
You have a little snail icon there. Ah, nice. Windows are fogging up. Yeah, one thing about German cars is that there's no three dials here, so I don't. So you know, I'm learning turn the car. Very quick. Yeah. People can see how how much I'm sweating. Yeah, not that we're really in the section where you can get into the boost, but that top little thing will show you that. Unless I go down in a second. Oh, you have to hit it. Yeah. Is that where is my red line on this? Uh, red line 7500. Ah. Yeah, you're not even in boost right now. Now you are. And now I'm nowhere near red line still. <laughs> and now we got snow and slush and everything like that. This is less punchier certainly than a shark works. Of course, that's apples to oranges trying to compare right, the two right. things. I'm not going to do anything because it's snow right here. Yep. Is the traction control on? Yes. Please keep it on. Yes, <laughs> stability control everything. All computers are active right now. Otherwise, you'd have, uh, be careful here. But, I mean, I don't know how much it would grab there, but I wouldn't right. want to. I don't want to have one of those. Nope. They were, those were good tires, but not great tires moments. Mm, I gotcha. I'd expect these tires, well, we didn't do highway yet. I expected these tires to sing more, but they really aren't. No. I mean, if, you, if you bring the G meter up and we could do like a full like brake stop somewhere like mm -hmm. in a larger parking lot, you can still pull almost a one one G and stopping wow. power just with snow tires. Which I mean, these are definitely more sport oriented than like the snow and ice tires that you see you know out there. But right. Okay, here we go. That's also why they put an axle lift option on these cars, because mm. of the low front end. This car doesn't have that, but... Physically, you can't. I'll let you lug it. You can't do like second to seventh or something like that. Man, I could get used to that shifting gears for you thing so easily. It's not, 
it's not translating the speed to me at all. Now this is me just being a guy who drives a lot of cars. Please take this with the perspective of a guy who likes LS swapped things. Okay. That's what makes me excited. All right. My impression of this 911, this version of a 911 with all wheel drive and a turbo, fast is not exciting. Fast is not fun. Now I'm sure on a track, this going like that, that is a lot of fun. Right, right. This is very rear engined MR2 around corners exciting. The type of mid-state Pennsylvania muscle car, iron block stuff I like, that isn't here. But that is not what this car is for. It's for going around corners. Of which we had some, but because I'm, as people saw from the recent track thing, I have a lot to learn, so I'm very timid. So the type of excitement I seek out and the type of titillation I desire from cars, this 911 does not deliver, but it's not for, it's not my style of driving. It, it'd be nice if we could take this to the Leesport go-kart, to like family fun center, <laughs> just to throw a bunch of money. Let me go into this tight little track of this thing would probably do. Right. Imagine if that thing was snowed over. <laughs> that would be amazing. Now I like drifting and all that sort of stuff. And since everybody is in the racquetball club, if you want to do that brake test, going up this. We could do it. Yep. yep. So just hammer on, hammer, brake on? Yeah. All right, here we go. First gear. All right. Brake. It kicks back. I didn't hold it straight to the right. until it jerked. Yeah, that was, I, I felt the uh, analog chattering back. Mm -hmm. It's not like my Subaru, which feels like there's a guy with a ball peen hammer hitting the hitting the ball of your foot. Right. But yeah, but again, everything else okay. about this is super tidy. Right. Second gear, first gear. Is it? Does it blip in first? Uh, it it only blips if you're below, if you're above, I think like 20 miles an hour. Ah, I gotcha. So there's, or maybe it's like 10 miles an hour. I forget where the cutoff is, but there's some cutoff point. Is Nick in his car? Yeah, he's in his car. Will it do the same thing as a Subaru? Nope. The It'll stall. <laughs> <laughs> It'll start to do it. Yeah. You got to realize all the computers are turned on. Right yeah, now, they're so fighting me. Not... Look at that. It's flat. Modern cars don't do this. <laughs> Uh, see, now I want an autocross track. No. That is what this would be amazing for. If you had an autocross track really right. tight and technical, this would be fun on it. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Arpod. Th yeah. This was You're exciting. Welcome. It gave me a lot to think about. That um, Porsches are for high speed and fast driving but on the road, they are very GT-like. Right. I think a car like this, since I do the Pittsburgh run a lot, yeah, this I is, hate it, <laughs> this thing would be perfectly fine. I drove this to Columbus, Ohio the second week I had it. Yeah. And, you know, it was a 36-hour trip. Wow. And fantastic. Like... Oh, do I... Uh, to put the parking brake. And then... Watch in? Put on the brake. And then push Put on it. the brake. Oh, push it. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking like an old American car. Do you leave it in first? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Uh, gosh, I, I, I wish it excited me more. I guess I'm just a different kind of person. I, I, en I enjoyed misbehaving in it. Um. When you I, have it longer, you're able to figure out where you can misbehave and how you can misbehave. Ah, that might be the element that's right. tough with a 10 minute, 15 right. minute drive. Hmm. 
like I hammered it going up that hill, but then yeah. I let off when the road got really yeah where you kept you know kept going there. But <laughs> that is true. With that forest over there, I don't slow down for bumps or speed bumps or anything. Right. I've got you know almost a foot of ground clearance. Huh. <sighs>